41% of young adults are single, 15% are divorced, and 20% will die alone. In the past two decades, the dating market has completely collapsed. The reason? Online dating is how most people meet now, and it doesn't freaking work. Why? The economic problem of asymmetrical information. Kyle knows who he actually is, no matter what his profile says. But Jessica doesn't. It's like trying to buy a used car. The salesman can tell you this car is great, runs perfect, no issues, but you always have a sinking suspicion that the worst could happen. You could be stuck with a lemon. In the dating market, a male lemon is a serial killer or a sex offender. The odds that a random man on a dating app is one of those in the United States is roughly 0.2%. But the chance that he's boring is 42.69. A female lemon is a horrible person. Odds of one of those on a dating app? Now that's redacted. And that's why fewer matches will occur than optimal because of the lingering doubt in your heart that this person's perfect profile is a lie. Because it most likely is. If you have ever been lied to on a dating app or lied to someone else, then like this video. In order for people to take the leap and actually meet in person, the expected value of the match has to be greater than the likelihood that that person is going to cut them up into tiny little pieces. Expected value just means how awesome the person appears times the percent chance that they're telling the truth. In the olden days, people didn't meet on apps. They met at the schoolhouse or the diner or the watering hole in the African Sahara. In these places, number one, you have a higher chance that the person is telling the truth because you spent your entire life with them. And two, there were fewer serial killers because they didn't have video games. Also, Kyle doesn't know exactly who Jessica is talking to on the app besides him. He doesn't know where he stands relative to his competition. So he has an incentive to lie, to portray himself as fantastically as possible just to soak up a few seconds of Jessica's attention or lure her into a secluded part of the woods this problem of asymmetrical information is nothing new. We've actually developed a way to fix it in other markets. Posting collateral. If I want a loan to start a business, the bank doesn't know if I'm the next Elon Musk or the next Billy McFarland. The promoter behind the botched fire music festival in the Bahamas has been sentenced now to six years in prison. So I thought that I was taking these different people from diverse backgrounds and bringing them together through adventures and experiences. And when this was happening, it was almost like I found my little slice of magic in the world. Your attempt to make yourself out to be some magic maker, uh, keen on spreading diversity, it all sounds great now, but the truth is you were trying to fleece them all for cash. And Pierce, I was wrong. I messed up. Because they don't know, they may not give me that loan. But if I agree to post collateral, saying if I default on my loan, you can have my house, then the bank says sure, because I will only post that collateral if I have carefully considered my business idea, developed a strategy, and tested it well. I'm no longer a flight risk, because I'm self-interested. Well, what would posting collateral on a dating app look like? Basically, Kyle would need to put a link to a $50 gift card to Applebee's on his profile. And if Jessica had a bad time on the date, she gets the gift card. I am fully confident such a practice would never be abused. Well, do you have any ideas, Anon? Let me know in the comments. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe and watch this other one because I really like it too and it would make me happy for once. Bye bye